Hey, what's poppin' yo? Brian DeFebri here, Coach D. I'm at the lion's cage. Sun's going down, just finished a hard workout. And I wanna talk to you guys real quick for a minute here about discouragement. Okay, why discouragement? Well, for the past week and a half, I've been feeling discouraged, all right? Been feeling a little frustrated. Why? Well, you know, I'm a month now into my recovery. It's, it's Thursday, it's uh, August 1st. And two days ago was four weeks from my surgery, so I'm basically a month out now. Uh, and I'm discouraged because I'm watching my strength fade away, you know. Uh, my, my legs are shrinking and my shirts that used to fit kind of snug, they're starting to fit loose, you know. And, and, and I can see my top end strength obviously is fading away. And, and so, you know, I'm getting a little, I, I was getting a little discouraged and frustrated with that for about the past week and a half maybe or so. Um, and I was able to snap out of it because I, I got through these four things or I did these four things that I, I realized from times past how to get through periods of discouragement. And any time you're dealing with an injury, you know, or, or an accident, um, there's, a, there's a phase that you'll go through some discouragement. It may be a day or two, it may be a week or whatever, but you got to get through it. And so here's my four ways of getting through it, and hopefully it'll help somebody out there, some of you guys, okay? Uh, the first thing to do when you're feeling discouraged is remember why you're doing it, okay? Uh, if it's an accident, then there may not be a why, but hopefully if it's an accident, you have a goal or a target to get through that and to get you back to um, your former uh, your former self, you know, strength or, or conditioning or whatever. Um, but in my case, you know, a surgery and injury, injuries happen. Um, I had it done for a reason, that was to fix the shoulder. So that's why I had it done. So I remember why I had it done. And I know that at the end, I'll come out of this. My goal is to be stronger than I was going in. And if it takes a year, fine. But that'll be a good year. It'll be a process. It'll be a journey. And Willie Jolly is a great motivational speaker and a great author and and he says a setback is a setup for a comeback a setback is a setup for a comeback so remember that okay remember why or remember your target goals okay the second thing is to find something that motivates you that fires you up that gets you going again okay uh, videos uh, a movie uh, books or something like that uh, for me I watched uh, some motivational videos uh, some Navy SEALs, I listened to a couple audios, uh, watched a couple movies that, that, that got me fired up again and, and motivated me to, you know, I had stopped some workouts for a few days, motivated me to get back into it again, okay? Um, so look at something that fires you up and motivates you and gets you going again. The third thing I like to do or I like to say is you got to do something hard, okay? Do something that's hard or a challenge, something you've never done before or something maybe you haven't done in a long time and you want to try it again. But for me, it was something I've never done before that was really hard. Uh, the first thing or the one thing I did was, uh, I, last week it was, a couple few days ago, um, I did a lunge walk around the hill here. And it's a 1 8 mile of a lap up and down the hill. And I did a lunge walk all the way up and down and around. My goal was two laps to do a quarter mile. And after the first lap, I was toast, all right? Past the butter, my legs were toast, okay? So I didn't do a quarter mile, but I did an eighth of a mile. It took me five minutes, nonstop, lunge walking. That was hard, okay? I think I got some white foam on my mouth from my sled pulls here. <laughs> That's the second thing I did, okay? My workout today was another hard thing. I did the sled pulls up and down the driveway here on the tire sled, 30 minutes nonstop. I just loaded it up with as much weight as I could and I pulled it uh, side, side, front and back pulls, 30 minutes nonstop. And that was hard. I was huffing like a freight train, but it got me fired up and motivated to do more and to get back in my workouts, okay? The fourth thing, finally then, is to work on something new. Uh, set, a, set new goals or, or target some weak areas maybe. And for me, the new thing I'm gonna be working on is my single leg squats. I can't do any loaded squats, you know, so I'm gonna start working on my single leg squats or pistols, uh, if I can even get that far, I don't know. 
Uh, right now, it's just a single leg squat to a bench, but that's what I'm gonna be working on. Um, and maybe some extra abs work that I haven't done in a long time either. So, you know, work on something new, uh, uh, weak areas that maybe you wanna work on so that when you're back to full training, you can jump right in, okay? So, to recap, you know, the four things to do if you're feeling discouraged, you're dealing with an injury, you're on the road to your comeback, you're in the middle of the journey, but you're in a funk for whatever, a day or two or whatever, and you need to get out of it. You need to snap out of it. So the first thing, remember why. Remember why you're doing it, or remember what your goal is at the end, your target, okay? The second thing, look at something motivational, all right, that fires you up and gets you going again. The third thing, do something hard. Do something that's a challenge, that's gonna, you know, not bust you up, but, but get you huffing and puffing and, and working hard and maybe thinking you might not be able to accomplish it, okay? Do something hard. Uh, the fourth thing then is to work on some new goals. Work on a weak area or something you've never tried before uh, to, 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 to develop a new, a new goal, a new target, a new area to work in, okay? Those are four areas that will help with discouragement. It's a normal thing to get discouraged with an injury. Just don't stay there, okay? Get fired up and get out of it. Uh, hopefully those four things will help you. So that's it for now. The sun's going down. I'm running out of daylight. I need to go home and eat. So this is Coach D saying later for now. I'm gonna finish up with some workouts and get some new videos out here for you guys. Hit me up with an email or comments or something, you know, and if you want dialogue or discussion, let me know, okay? Coach D saying later for now. See you later.